<laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought the fact it's just little alchemist noise. As soon as I hit record, the alchemist noises just drop off. It's just like you heard like quality and then gone. Also, that reminds me, how are you feeling? Because I know you were sick yesterday. Still kind of sick. Oof. I'm... But that, that was Josh, so... I'm better uh -huh. in that I'm not coughing anything up, but I'm still coughing. Go figure. At least I'm not alone, as Josh is the sick boy, too. Yeah, about that. I really hope that's not because I passed it on to you last Thursday, because I was sat next to you. No, it's been like three weeks. Okay. Yeah. He was sick when we got sick. I can't believe Josh passed it on to me. <laughs> I mean, can you prove it wasn't him? Yes, no. uh... Well, yes and no. It, it was the Monday plague. Yeah, because... I think it were on the Friday when we were at the pre-release, because Becca were there as well. I think Becca came up once or twice and just like, sorry again, sorry again. <laughs> No, they're going, it's fine. You didn't mean to pass any sickness on. It wasn't just her, though. It was Andy, the player who showed up when he had the plague. Yeah. Like, he came when he was, re he came to Geek Retreat when he was really sick and just, like, infected everyone. Which, to be fair, is how it happens. Anyway, greet us, everyone, and welcome back to the Dark Tides of Room Terror. That's why it is forever known as the Ambi Plague. The Ambi Plague. Yeah. <coughs> Ow. Sarah, I, I still got a cough. It's just dry now. Anyway. Yeah, again, being very friggin' aware of this now. I, I blame you for this, Josh, by the way. Mm -hmm. Ever since you posted the uh, alignment charts of how DMs start their session recaps, yeah. I have been very self-aware of going so last time. <laughs> Either way. So. Fuck. Last time. <laughs> you all entered the village. You all investigated some buildings, finding some little bits of evidence, as well as a few items, as well as discovering what seemed to be a large object under the ice of the lake. Instead of finding a normal way around it, uh, Alari just decided to teleport her and Alexander within, causing a loud kaboom in the process. I told everyone it would be loud. Yes. You discovered a frozen egg? which turned out to be housing one of the demigods of the Freljord, Anivia. Who has pretty much given you a few warnings. However, the Lausch Kaboom did indeed summon up a patrolling group of trolls. Fright did try his best. A uh, poison lady got shot at. And as you all were exiting after Mariah found her way down the hall to meet up with you all, you found a troll looking down the hall at you, which Alexander promptly stabbed in the snoz. Nose. Which, to be fair, when you see the trolls, it makes sense given their big noses. I will ask a perception check from Kaper and Patu. Just to see if you are aware of this. Okay. Now you're there, Lana, to do a perception. I'll take that as a yes. Uh, you're not really not yourself, Kuiper. However, Lyra does start kind of tugging at your sleeve, just like motioning over to the house that the right is in. <laughs> Uh, Pursue, yeah, you've heard a bit of a distant scream from the house. And as you just peer your head around the door, 
you see several trolls just lying in the outside of the building. <clears throat> Seems we have visitors. <laughs> we, we do, I don't see them. He just nods to the crack in the door. <laughs> just like hits his head, like, I see. Yep. You see what seems to be from the angle you're at and the positioning they're at. You would see only a couple of trolls, just like one or two of them. Mainly because the rest are either in the building or hidden by the building. Does it seem like they're coming this way? Uh, no, they seem to be more surrounding just that building in general. Huh. You heard a scream? Did, didn't we? <laughs> what kind of scream? This is a good question. Should we roll to see what kind of scream lay are you going to let us know? Oh, yeah, you can already tell. It's no voice that sounded familiar to you. Huh. That accent definitely didn't come from anyone you know. <laughs> can I sneak Debbie over to see exactly what's going on? Uh, it will take Debbie a little bit of time, but Debbie can indeed sneak over there. Oh. And as Devi peers through the wall, you see a troll quite literally holding onto his nose, which has roughly been split in half. Mm. Just trying to hold both halves of it together as he's just shouting explicits down a hole. Down a hole? Probably with What's... Alexander's blooded sword still sticking out of the end. Of the hole. Probably then just a little poof of fire that misses completely. Yes, and speaking of which, I now need an answer from you two as well as Mariah. Given Mariah would be third on the ladder below you two. Mariah, yes. do you want to take a shot with your gun? And you two, are you going to allow her to try and shoot past you? No. <laughs> Alexander's going to be almost <laughs> like a ball of hell. You'll slowly pull out a gun. <laughs> look towards oh which one's Al Alari and it's Alari. I'm just gonna, I'll look at Alari or I'll look at Mariah and just like no. She will slowly oh, no, please back and <laughs> sigh. I'm not losing a leg to you today. Fair enough. <laughs> I'll shoot after. Yeah, Alexander's out of there like a ball out of hell. Yep. So Alexander. Uh, Steffi watches, and I'm assuming you're seeing through Debbie's eyes. Mm -hmm. You see Alexander quite literally do the hero thing of grabbing gold with the top rung, and hoisting himself up so hard, he just literally leaps out of the hall onto the ground. From Debbie's point of view, the only way I could describe it is, and Jack will get this reference, Jack will appreciate this, the old Rey Mysterio oh. entrance where he just leapt out of the ground via a springboard. Oh, you... <laughs> I was thinking of Super Mario jumping out of the pipe. <laughs> that works too. Oh, wow. So, um, quick question. Yes. Um, I forget. Did we assign Devi to being a familiar? Yes. Yeah, Devi is now you familiar. Because if you remember, they've Ooh. taken the more burning gold initial look. And Sharky is my familiar when I'm delicate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sharky as well. Uh, in that case, yeah, I got those two mixed up. It's Sharky that has the golden uh, flamey type look. Devi's taken on a bit more of the green spectral. Given, you know, the sword. Mm hmm. So, that means I can cast spells with Debbie, right? I suppose, yes. You can cast spells for your familiar, can't you? You can cast touch, touch spells, yeah. Yes, touch spells. Touch. 
I don't think I've got any touch spells at the moment that I really want to use. Okay. Very well. So, with all that, uh, we are going to be moved over to here. And... If need I a little Debbie in, icon somewhere. If I just move in back a bit, I can move Alexander forward a bit since Alexander has leapt out. Do we still have a Debbie icon? I hope so. <laughs> we should do somewhere. If I'm also struggling. There. Debbie icon. That is the wrong thing. That's the. There we go. So yes, we are going to be needing some initiatives. Give me control of baby shark child. I can't do two things at once. Flashing a big picture of Kiwi going cross-eyed. There. So Mariah got a twenty-two. Poison Lady got a 5. Poison Lady's not on the map yet, but oh, I'm assuming Poison Lady will be moving towards there when they can. Oh yeah, well I mean she wasn't that far away, she was literally probably like... It'll take you like a turn to get there, it'll take uh, Patu and Kuiper a couple of turns. We're rolling. Okay, she's like somewhere just mm -hmm. like off in this little area yeah. over here. I'll, I'll just place you there at the bottom just so I can add you to the turn order. That's Sylvine's picture. God damn it, I've done it again. <laughs> <laughs> Start like crying. <laughs> I need to archive Sylvine. Uh, uh Poison Lady got a five. That's a twenty and a twenty and we have the same. Oh yes. What? Old fashioned roll? Rollies! D20 versus D20. Yeah, roll a D20. Whoever gets the high, oh. <laughs> eh, you win. Oh, I go after with, you. With that crit, can I, uh, can I misty step in? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Let me just get everyone on the turn order first, but uh, I do like your thinking, though. Am I missing anyone as far from Fright and Patu? Uh -uh. Let me just drag Patu over there next to the Kuiper. Well, aside from the trolls. Can I carry Patu while I miss these stuff? Let's go, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you're coming with me! <laughs> getting dragged, because you're so short, just getting dragged by like, a, coat, <laughs> a coat sleeve. <laughs> See, my problem now is, I don't know what uh, Surtur's dexterity is. Not doing it off Santa, I'm sure I heard him. No. Yeah. You might have heard Zach if he spoke. Indeed. Oh wait, Surtur has a sheet here. I thought he was rolling through a uh, thingy. He is. That's trying to get up a character mancer. I'm going to go just for a rough estimate of uh, this. I can't imagine his dexterity <laughs> is any different than mine. Yeah. Um, which I get a plus three to my dexterity because I feel like him and I are sharing relatively the same class. I guess uh -oh. I'll bump it up to an eight. Either way, it doesn't really change his position too much there. Let's add the trolls and let's add the special troll. Trolls will be acting as a group initiative because funny. Plus one. Remember when I said it's not going to affect it too much? Uh, yeah, apparently just affected <laughs> it too much. Uh, and he does have a high one anyway, so 8.5. That's for this tracker one, that's a bit more wily. In descending order. Okay, there we go. We're good. So, Kuiper, you want to misty step? Yep. 
Okay. Uh, what's the range of Misty Step again? I think it's only like 30 foot, but I can dash and get an extra 60 on that. That is true. Yeah, that will just get you like to the outskirts. Lovely. I just realized as well with Patu's speed. Never mind you two arriving in two turns. <laughs> ha! <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was going to say, I think most of us have the distance to close. <laughs> so, uh... Actually, I yeah, probably won't need to dash. Okay. Most of my spells are ridiculous range anyways. That is true. Instead of dashing, I'll summon a few of these meteors. Okay. I've got 120 foot on those. Yep. The issue with it is uh, the only ones that you could see at the moment are this one here and this one through the ruins of the wall. Okay. Uh, that's fine. I'll send. <coughs> I'll send one at each. Okay. Uh, these will be fire. Okay. There's one. And there's two. So they need to make deck saves. Uh, that 20 for the one inside the building. Right. And they uh, big old fat fail for the one at the side of the building. <laughs> Lovely. So the one outside the building is taking 12 fire. No, 10 fire, 2 radiant. Let me just check. Okay. So, 12 That's damage me. in total. Okay. Uh, next up would be Mariah. Yes. I, I'm i going to shoot. Okay. Um, of course I'm using. I'm going to go pow pow. Okay. So, after saying no, you don't want to lose a leg, Alari. Yeah. You just feel the gun press to your side. No. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately... I have to. This is this is my thing. And unfortunately, this is my body. Eleven does okay. miss, but you do have extra attack. Remember, uh, your thirteen will also miss. At least I didn't shoot. Um... That is true. Now yeah. Then, I I have a question for you. Yes. Are you going to stay where you are, or are you going to try climb over Alari to get out the hole? Oh, I can climb over Alari. Easy. Make me an athletics check. I imagine it's like the toddler climbing over, like their parent. Pretty much. You just <laughs> feel the gun just solely be drawn away after two shots just ring out, causing your ears just to get a kind of beep. And as your head's just trying to recover, you just feel Mariah just scramble over you. Sorry, sorry. Just, just, prob just so probably pausing for a second just to pat Umper on the head before carrying up. Yeah. Because Umper <laughs> is also on your back. You little... So, uh, yes. I'd say that would probably be 20 foot of movement, so you still got 10 foot of movement to do. Okay, 10 foot... So I'll be I'll be here so I can go on to like the okay. Okay. So you are here. Yes. Okay. No. Alari, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of like glare. Um, but she will also amble up. Oh. I forgot to add someone to the turn order. And she's going to move here. Okay. And I'm going to smack the guy. Okay. Ah! That's a hit for six damage. Just gets hit with a stick. Yeah, just... As he tried just to hold these nose together, he just cracked at the back of the head. <laughs> He's not having a very good day. As a bonus action, I'm going to activate my mantle of flame. Okay. So if he, if he attacks me, he gets burned. 
Okay. That's me. Patu. I'm a sorcerer. <laughs> Yes. Hi. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Awesome. How far away are we? Uh, let me just refer back to the other map. From the entrance of that building to where they all are, it's like just over 60 foot. Just over 60 foot. Like, it's roughly 62 footish. To get into the building itself, so from like some of these outer steps here, probably like fifty-eight to get to like there. Well, I mean, I don't have to get into the building just yet. Uh, I can fly that distance almost about fifty. Okay. Is there anything else? Uh, oh. How far does that put me now? If you are flown 50, you're like 8 away from the edge of the map here. And 10 to actually get into the building. Cool. Can I cast a Victor's Soul Rend on the fellow that's inside? I'm currently uh, being boxed in. <coughs> it's a 60 foot range. Yes. Given Ooh. that you do have sight on him as well, thanks to Devi. Yeah. All right, spill it. Six. So let's see. That is an eighteen to hit. That's a hit. Awesome. And you remember what it does, or do I need to pop it up for you? Uh, yes, please. It always helps to have the spell though, so I can refer to it later on. And it hits, so I can do 1d8 to start with. And that's just flat 1d8. Yep. And he is marked. He takes three damage from a unknown spores <laughs> because he doesn't see the bird man. Uh, so that's eight damage. Uh, that's just three damage. Oh, three just okay. There we go. He is not having a happy day of it. He just wanted to investigate what was down the hall. Uh, he found a barrel full of snakes. That's what he found. Mm. Alexander. It's me. It's you. Hey. hey. Oh, Jesus, I got every sound effect at once. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's this effect on this troll in front of me? Uh, from Rana's thing, essentially put, if he takes any sort of damage, he will also take a extra free damage. Wait. Uh, fair enough, fair Why enough. Why is it free damage um... at 11th level? you level 9, aren't you? What level Level 9. Uh, Alright, So it's 2 damage. Ah. I must have forgot to level myself up. Do I need to add damage to it? No, because it's you roll a 2d8. So, yeah. Okay, so I need to add another d8 to that one. Yeah. So that's 6 damage. Okay. <laughs> Alright, how's a bit of that? Uh, yeah, that would do it. Oof. Uh, in fact, that is a meet and beat. Wait, am I doing meet and beat to defend the witch this? I forget. I think I've it was meet and beat. beat. I've been doing meet and beat. Yeah, to defend the wins in Devil Darlings. Uh, it's the beating meat. 21 damage. Yeah. Beat dumb meat. Is he still up? He is. And again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember it's not that... the that one, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you know the whole question of is he still up? Uh, <laughs> ask it again. Yeah, but is he still mounted? Because uh, here's the thing. Yes, he is still technically up. 
for one main reason. And you should does not... he have the endurance? Does he have the endurance thing? The regeneration that trolls the app? Yeah. Yes. Great, the, the I can trolls. burn it. <laughs> That's only if he decides to hit you and then burns himself. <laughs> I can burn him regardless. Yeah, but your turn's gone before his. I don't know. Is that you done, by the way? I think so. Okay. Mm. Apparently we are getting a Santa. They're just having connection issues. So, next up... Oh, I fucking got rid of the turn order. Next up would be the tracker. And yeah, she's going to roll with advantage. Yeah, she hears what's going on in the back. She just motions to the other trolls to start making the way around. She's keeping a close eye on Fright, though. Just being like, and you know fancy tricks, okay? You try anything, and the stick meets face. Now comes the fun part. Alari, you feel someone yeah. scamper off your back. Um, what? <laughs> Where are you? Umpa tries, um, Umpa tries to bonk him on the head and misses. Umpa, no! <laughs> Umpa just slowly looks to you, Alari. Kuiper's thumbs up in the background. <laughs> Extra attack. Actually hits him. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not going to roll damage for it, given he's just on the regenerated part anyway. So it doesn't matter too much. But yeah, Umpa clubs him. Just. Boom. <laughs> uh, speaking of. Uh, hi, Santa. Santa, what is Fright's dex bonus? So we were correct then, yeah, so we were correct at putting you at 8.5. Yeah, because I feel like you and I, I couldn't remember, but I do believe you and I are running close to relatively the same class. And I thought I remembered, like, your dexterity being, like, literally exactly what mine was, which was 16. Yes, also you are coming yeah. through very quiet for me. Very quiet. Yeah, give, me, give me a second, hold on. That's okay. You sound like you're about two houses away. And he's going to come back with, like, the radio voice really loud <laughs> right next to you. <laughs> Is this enough? Megaphone through the mic. This yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> So there just to quickly catch you up. Oh no, no, everyone's quiet. Sorry. Just to quickly catch you up, Santa. Uh, that one last week that peered down the hall has pretty much been clobbered to within an inch of the life. The tracker that you were talking to has heard it, ordered the trolls to go around the sides to check what that is, and there's such a point to the stick you're going, if you try anything funny, she's going to shoot you. So the stick is pointed at... Uh... Well, technically it's pointed at the window that you're behind. But you get the idea. The beautiful thing is that's not a window, that's a door. It's a window door hybrid. It's one of those, like, glass doors. Is she, like, just... Is she directly behind the fucking door, just pointing it inwards at me? Yes. Fright's just kind of hands up, smiling like, 
funny business for me. I'm a Noxian. We don't do funny business. And then he is going to kick the fucking door. Okay. Uh, make me an attack roll, and she is going to make a dex to see. An attack, uh, what kind of attack roll? Uh, you just go for a boot on it, just like a kick. Yeah, he's just booting yeah, the he's just booting the door. <laughs> just like your yeah, base attack, no weapon. Oh, okay. Such so so just I'm to see on. how hard you boot this door. Sweet. Uh there's a eighteen that may not have come through. It I don't know didn't come I'm through, but an eighteen will indeed. Okay, not cool. just kick the doors open, but will shatter a bit of glass towards them. And with the 21, they do kind of just scurry back in time to avoid the shards. Just <laughs> as, as this is, uh, Fright has walked outside uh, the door. He has kind of moved his coat back. Um, and there is a vial of blood in his hand that is already open is already started forming into a spear as he is still looking directly at the one with the staff and the others. My dears, again, I don't do funny business. It's not my fault. People fall in love with me. Um, And as a bonus action... Uh, actually, no, sorry, as an extra attack, because you say that was an attack, he's stabbing this bitch. Okay. With uh, his blood spear. Uh, what's the range of the blood spear? Um, in melee? Yeah. Uh, 20, 20 feet. Yeah, in that, melee. yeah, that she's in range. Uh, yeah. That's a 26 to hit. That hits. Sweet. Uh, that is going to be seven points from the spear, but screw it, we're a runic fighter. Um, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to invoke a fire room. Okay. Um, so the runes on the spear that is now grown is going to ignite and it's going to take 2d6 more damage. Um, as fiery shackles are going to go around it, it must make it, it must exceed on a strength saving throw or it will be restrained for one minute and it will take 2d6 fire damage at the start of its next turn as well. 19. 19. Uh, yeah, that manages to make it. It's still taking 2d6 damage this round. It just won't take in the subsequent yep. rounds. Um, there's 13 points of fire damage. Ooh. Um, and then because that was extra attack, which Hold on. Sorry, just taking a moment as I'm looking at Fright stuff. First time Fright's been in combat <laughs> that I've been in combat with Fright. It's been a while since I've played Runic Knight, so forgive me as this round takes a little bit longer than the subsequent ones. That's okay. Uh, so it's 13 damage so far, plus the initial damage as well, which was... Yes. Uh, the initial, I believe, was six. Okay. So it would be... 18 damage in total so far. Eight, yeah, 18 damage in total so far. Um, 
He's got the attention of some of the other trolls now, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they might all be... Uh... Yeah, that's that reminds me. Play. Yes. Can you pick a number between one and five? And don't tell me what it is. Okay. Okay. We're Thank gonna... you. <laughs> Remember that number. We're going to go ahead. And we're also going to action surge. And we're just going to attack again. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, because you can use, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you can action surge after doing an extra attack, correct? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, we're just going to stab with the blood spear again uh, on the same fella. Okay. What does that thing look like having like 20 foot range? Um, so at this point, when it is. Because uh, the first attack was basically it for me, like it for me in Crawd's hand before the blood just juts out into a spear through the troll and then just ignites into flame. Yeah. Um, once the fire dies down, and now that it's fully in, uh, now that it's fully in Fright's hand, it's kind of like a almost like a fully formed pike in a sense that is incredibly long, insanely long. Um, to a normal individual, it should probably be a two-handed weapon. <laughs> um, but due to, pri- uh, uh, due to Fright's height and sheer... Um... It is a one-handed weapon. Um, it, it also has like all these various different runes and sigils on it as well. Um, but that is a twenty-three to hit. That's a hit. All righty. Um, that's going to be seven points of piercing damage. How much, sorry? Um, that's going to be seven points of seven. piercing damage. Yep. Yes. Do they need to make the save again? Uh, they do need to make the save again. That's um, a fail this time. Alrighty. Uh, so they are going to take a, another six points of fire damage and they are going to be uh, bound by shackles of flame, which are going to erupt from the ground. And we're going to go ahead and use a point of giant might as well, and they're going to take an extra d6 uh, point of physical damage, which is five as the ground beneath fright begins to crack. Um, he, as he visibly grows taller, as he is no longer medium, he is now a large creature. And uh, he is dealing that extra d6 points of damage as he is physically grown from just attacking them. Oof. And they are now bound, and they will take damage next turn. And that is the end of uh, first <coughs> turn this round. Okay. Next up would be the trolls. They just regain a flat 10 as long as they weren't affected by fire. Let me just read this just to make sure I got this correct. Yep. It didn't take any of those. The troll dies only if it starts with zero hit points and doesn't regenerate. Okay. So, yeah. The one that you've stabbed, you see some of its wounds start to knit together as it starts to get back up. The rest of the goon squad. Wait, the one that Fright stabbed? No. Oh. The one that everyone else has been ganging up on. Okay. Oh, I was, I, was ab- I was about to say, the one I stabbed's very much on fire. <laughs> yes, there's a dash. That's, that's what I was going to say. Like, wait. You don't regenerate from fire. 10, 15, 20, 
25-30-5-10. Wait, did I completely guess one of their weaknesses? I mean, these Lamar. are ice trolls. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice trolls. Nice trolls. So, those two have to dash. Yeah, again, I don't know if I'm doing this correctly, where I'm just moving them like the little fire thingy of being like, that's five, that's ten. Or if it is as you were doing before, it's move it fully for five. What, you mean like for just movement? Yeah. You move the five foot as if a large creature is moving said five foot. So technically they have a longer stride. So essentially put, it's not move it just to one each like that. You've got to move it the full thing like that, and that's five. I'm not looking at the screen one second. Right. Just for example with this one here. It's not move it like that and that's five. It's you move it like that and that's five. That's ten foot. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say, that's ten foot. Yeah. So I was doing it right then. Yeah. 15, 20, 25, 30. That's going that way. That one's strapped, but this one is just going to be like... Like that. So... That's essentially three of them that's not in combat. One of them that, it, two of them that are, no, three of them that are, because, yes. So, the one that's been beaten up on, he's glowing around, he's got targets. Does he punish the baby that quite literally dirt to bop him while he was down? Or is he going to go for, you know, the guy that's been dealing all the damage? You do realise if he goes Baby. for... <laughs> do not He's the child. Destroyed. Picks up Umpa. No. Meat. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, that would just be him dead at that point. Like, Alari would unleash every spell in her arsenal to kill him. He's going for Alexander, given Alexander was the main damage dealer there. Not to mention Alexander splits his nose open. So, a bite is a 20. For 8 damage. And he's going to make two claw attacks as well. A 10 and a 16. Um, the 10 will miss the 16, Alexander. Uh, a 16, you say? Yes. That is a meat and beat him. Ooh. Meat beat. That be me. That be me. 2d6 plus 4 is slashing damage. <laughs> so. Overall, that'd be 18 damage to you. As he sinks his teeth into you, tries to swipe and misses, but just about catches you with a second swipe. Alexander just looks more annoyed than anything like fuck off. <laughs> the one that's in combat that's with That's not a high hygienic way of fighting people. <laughs> the one that's in combat with Mariah dashed, and therefore I can't fight Mariah. So the only other one combat we do have is the one that just quite literally sauntered up to fright. I love the tenacity of these individuals. If it was quite different, I might have joined you all in bed. Eleven's a miss, I'm assuming, for the bite. Uh, Eleven is a miss. How about a twenty-three mm. for a claw? Uh, mm, how about he... Like, Reroll that, because we're going to go ahead and use a runic shield. <laughs> how about a twenty-two? Why do I bother doing this? It's the Waffleberg effect. They're just going to roll one lower. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, 16 damage with the first claw swipe. 
Okay. Oh no, twenty five with the second claw hit. Oh. For twenty. Jeez. <laughs> for six. That is a tale of two opposite ends. First claw swipe, maximum damage. Second claw swipe, minimum damage. I love it. You know what? Because of that, I'm going, to, I'm going down the route of this being the Trindamir of trolls. His right arm's a lot stronger than his left arm. As, as he is just being um, thrapped around... Fright kind of looks, kind of looks up at the troll. Wow! Someone must be excellent at. He kind of stops, looks back, sees that there's a child. You know what? We're going to continue that line of dialogue afterwards. Just know that there was probably a dirty joke in there about the reason your arm's so strong. Poison lady. Mm. You're taking your turn to catch up. I mean, I guess I'm only like 20 feet away. So uh, that is true. So and you would have 10 wait. movement of speed, movement of speed as well. On the map. 20, actually. Oh, you got a movement speed of 40? Yeah. Okay. Because she's like lightweight and kind of just like lists across the ground. So. I gave her like a little bit more, but that, I'm probably only gonna go there anyway because I don't want. I don't like that guy. He's blocking <laughs> my view. Okay. So I'm gonna stab him. Eh. Damn it. Fourteen's a miss, unfortunately. Yeah. Um. Was the number you chose three? Which is like a yes or a no. What, sorry? Was the number you chose three just a yes or a no? No. Okay, cool beans. All right, we can continue. Okay. That is my turn. Kaper. Yeah. Yes. Uh, would you say I'm here or a bit further away? Uh... You moved 60 foot with Missy Step, weren't it? Yep. Uh, so, if anything, you'd be more there. Dope. Coolio. Um, weird question. What sort of noises am I hearing from this place? AKA, do I hear what the hell's going on in here? You, you definitely heard a loud, probably like a grunt followed by a laugh as Serta got kind of slapped a couple of times. <laughs> probably heard his little quip as well. Then again, it's probably okay. a bit hard to overhear what he said after that, given this guy also slapping Alexander around at the same time. And probably a Larry tried to teach the baby. <laughs> I, um, but no. <coughs> oh, definitely the... heard that because Kuiper was behind you. <laughs> Thumbs up. Like, um, but like no. bonk, Go bonk again. more, bonk. Um, I'm gonna carry on running. Umpa ye. Umpa, go for the shins, not the head. Go for the eye. In between the legs. Go for the eye. Go for the knees, boo. <laughs> Look, kid, you're at the height. Just whack him in the fucking balls. Take out his toes. <laughs> Press the pinky. I love the fact that was not team. We would have known by now how to fight. I love the fact that it's not a case of no door attack, and more a case of no go for go for this area, not this area. <laughs> It's a difference Everybody, of strategy. Every, we're, we're literally, we're not here to protect the baby. We're here to teach the baby how to fight so that maybe one day we can all just protect ourselves. I also love the fact that you're teaching it the anti-lesson of what Cartman got taught in that old episode of South Park. Where he kept, where he kept hitting people in the legs and the knees. 
oh, to call past the scope and go, no, 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 you got to hit him in the head to go down faster. <laughs> yes, but this is the issue. They're trolls. They don't do the thinking with their heads. That's true. Also, go on. Uh, what are you doing, Kate? Is this troll down? He like is back prone. up. Okay. Dope. He was pro, so... and then he got his ass back up. <laughs> Running past him, seeing that he's up. Just gonna oh. do a little jump, send a meteor up to this guy, okay. down to this guy, and he's gonna send a firebolt at this one. Okay. Got... <coughs> Top one. Bottom one. No social marks, which people have been inflicted with the fires. Um, so bottom left deck saves. And you have a Lari who is quite literally on fire. Well, the firebolt worked though. Oof. Oh. No. So. Brb, I need the bathroom. Okay. Nice. They both failed the thing, but one of them crit failed, and, uh... Yeah. Right back. Cool. Destructive turn. That was indeed. So, let me just work this out quick. So... He took 13. And inflicted rid of flames. He took... Nine. And he's also inflicted with flames. <laughs> this poor boy here. This poor boy. Just about <laughs> managed to get up. Started to start fight back. Only to get smacked in the back of the head with a firebolt. And just <laughs> erupts into flames. Just collapses in a heap. Is that you? That is me. Okay. Where are you? This one stood right behind you, just kind of sizzling after being shot with a fiery meteor. Um, please don't hurt me. <laughs> but I'm going to hurt you. Please don't hurt me. Okay. Bang. Okay, I hope it's rough now. Somebody call a doctor, but not for what me. What are these rolls, man? I don't so know. Stupid. I don't know. I'm going to try with my Spanish gun next time. Okay, maybe so that... you switch your guns over after missing twice with that one. Be like, bang, oh, bang, oh, switch his guns. Don't forget, you do have action surge, which allows you to get your attacks as well. You basically yeah, sure. you can attack again. Yeah, I'm going to do that, but with the other gun. Yep, Let's so see. you switch guns. Jesus. Oh, piss. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> Finally! I've done something. Oh, thanks. Yeah? You switch guns. You shoot to the side. He starts to laugh. And then you just kind of shoot off several of his toes. Who's laughing now, biatch? Those laughing all of his toe holes, you are terrified. <laughs> what? <laughs> that would be terrifying. <laughs> well, first of all, I believe a lot of just went BRB. Oh, no. <laughs> Fortunately, I think she might be back because she just rejoined for 20. I think. <laughs> I don't know, I saw someone rejoin Roll20, I don't know who it was. It's probably me, I'm having slight issues with it. Oof. Back. Welcome back, Welcome back. it's your turn. You quite literally just see, so... Mariah, try to shoot twice with a gun, miss, switch your guns, and blow the toes off a troll. Yeah. Also, the one in front of you is now a smoldering heap, thanks to Kuiper. Is 
say thanks to the war crimes, Kuiper. <laughs> look, look, you cannot tell me that when you look at the little dude going, just spinning around in flames like a fucking Beyblade, that he is not enjoying his life. <laughs> I am going to cast Scorching Ray on that one. Oh, uh, which one? The one that just entering down at the bottom here? Yeah. Okay. One of the pits for nine. Because I'm assuming you shot off three. Yeah. After it's the spell. Yep, so only one of them hits. But he's still burned, so that's a good thing. He does, but one of them that he rolled was also on that one. <laughs> but given it's a spell that was targeted in here, odds are evens. Let's go with this. Evens! Okay, also let me just mark this boy with the flame because he is now a toasty, toasty boy. I see. Evens. It looks like the fire is about to spread to some of the thatching and some of the wood in this building. But the cold just kind of puts it out. Okay. Well, that's me. I can't do anything else. Oof. <laughs> I'm a sorcerer cleric. I don't have extra attack or anything, so... I'm kind of in the same boat as you. I literally only have like a very set amount of attacks, and I think I only have like one reaction. Yeah. I'm I'm here as a fighter. Um, I stab, I stab, I burn, I burn, and then we're gonna see the third thing I get to do here in a bit. It is Patu's turn. I suppose I can just do a bit more soul rending this direction. Okay, to which one? This fella up here. Okay. He doesn't seem too preoccupied just yet. <laughs> Not yet. That is a 22 to hit. That hits. And that's 2d8. Nine damage. Nine damage, and I will mark him with the little thing to let us know. Nice. And I would like to move Debbie about right here-ish if possible. Yep. Just hovering over the wall. Yep. And that'll be my turn for now. Okay. Alexander. Jack. Yeah, I made I made the horny noise. Shut you. Um, it didn't come through. <laughs> Fine, oh, oh! <laughs> I'll come through, you I, I was I was about to say, uh, my name is Alexander Romero. There are two things you need to know about me. One is that I am away from computer, and two is that I am grabbing cheese puffs. Them personnel, kid. <clears throat> okay, what's this fucking status effect for? Uh, the little fire thing. That's just to let us yeah. know that he's been affected with fire and therefore cannot regenerate on his turn. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my boy. Hell yeah. We're on Bitch, one today. You think I went for shredded cheese? I make my shredded cheese. Um... Forty-six. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. he is clinging onto life with the skin of his goddamn teeth. Probably quite literally. Um. Yes, quite literally, is in one HP. A little bit of me wish you hadn't said that. Just a little teeny weeny bit because now I've got to be the meme, the legend. (laughs) (laughs) 
Not gonna lie, if you're older than that one, that would have been funny. <laughs> For all intents and purposes, consider this a headbutt. Um, <laughs> yeah, you just kind of bring your axe or your sword to the side of his leg to spin him around, and then just crack him just right between the eyes with an headbutt. Yeah. Burn it, yeah. That'll do it. Is that it? Bonus action. Okay. I want to give one of these motherfuckers a right intimidating glare because, damn it, I want a bonus action. Um, Make me an intimidation <laughs> just, roll. Just fucking half slices this yeti in two. It's a yeti now, apparently. And then, uh, it's just sort of like, Whoa! and then I was just like, headbutt it, and, and probably still with fresh, freshly headbutted blood on my head, just slow turns to the one, uh, well, the one at the bottom, we'll okay. say. The one that has whoever the fuck this is a little bit concerned. I'm just going to stir a fuck off hole through them. Met me an intimidation. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm not saying that the man's got a look about him, but the man's got a look about him. <laughs> yeah, I bet no, it looks this... uh, real striking on that 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 pasty white skin as well. Um... Yeah, no, they, this this trolls having second thoughts. <laughs> It is the one that Fright has trapped. Oop, not you. Uh, yeah, this is this is the beauty of uh, Fire Rune. He doesn't get a save. He's trapped for a minute, which is ten turns, and he's taking another two d six points of damage. Yep. Yeah, there is no save to the Fire Rune once you fail the first one, um, unless you want there to be. So, but... it, does it essentially count as him being grappled? Um, he is restrained. Restrained, okay. Uh, for one minute. He takes 2d6 fire damage at the start of each of his turns. Um, oh, no, wait, sorry. Hold on. Again, getting used to playing this. Uh, yes, he can make, he can make a saving throw. Okay. It is, uh, it is a strength saving throw again. Yep. He is still taking the 2d6 damage this, wait, hold on. Yes. At the end of its turn, he can make the saving throw. At the All beginning right. of his turn, he takes the damage. So he basically yeah. doesn't get a turn except for the save. So yeah. Um, again, apologies, uh, Archetype, that I've only really ever played once. Uh, and I haven't damage. fought in the yet. So let's do... Oh, wow, that's in three. Let's do the top one. <laughs> Um, it's oh. in three different roles. Apologize. First roll, the nine that uh, would count. Okay. So, 38. So, here's the thing mm -hmm. he's restrained. Yes. So, just with the slight wiggle room that he has. He's going to shoot the staff at you. Restrained creatures do still get attacks, but they make their attacks with disadvantage, while attacks against them have advantage. Fair, fair. I just had to look that up then, because I know one of these things came up before with grapple and restrain. We're apparently oh, still making that attacks. While, uh, yeah, yeah. In a way that suggested that he isn't actually still horrifically fucked. Oh, you know, he's still horrifically fucked, but he's still going to try to get a shot off. Thing goes off like a Spartan fucking laser takes out my hand. Well, here's the funny part. Shot. <laughs> if you recall right, when he shot this at the Poison Lady last session, it's not an attack roll. However, Fright, you will be getting it with advantage. A deck save, please. Okay. With advantage, just to counteract the fact that it's supposed to have this advantage attack roll, it's got making attack roll, so you get advantage on the decks. 
which is sweet. Which is, yeah, that's a meat and beets right there. That is a meat and beet. So you will pass and will only take half damage. Fred's going to look from the troll in front of him to uh, the tracker. Uh, excuse me, you can wait your turn to dance or you can ask politely. That's such a good point. I need to All make right. a deck safe for the other boy as well. That's right next to him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Because if you recall it, this thing is a very powerful blast. Also, I should probably make the deck save for him now. He fails, he's taking the full thing. Remember what I said, it's a very extremely powerful thing. That only counts if you get a good <laughs> roll. Yeah, that's true. So, right, right, just kind of. Uh... Rounded up, you are taking five. Acid damage, I believe I said this was. No, it wasn't acid damage. What was it? I'll try to remember what it was. Cold damage. I mean, with the damage you just got, it's flaccid damage. Yeah. Wait, is, that me? is that me taking the damage, or is that the troll? Well, uh, you're taking half. So you're only taking ah. three. Whereas yeah. the troll took the full five. Fred just kind of looks down at his coat that's slightly burned. Well, that's tedious and annoying. Looks over at the troll. And you got friendly fired. Hold on, we need... He kind of looks over at the tracker. What the fuck, man? I'd understand you just shooting me, but you... friendly fire, aim, please. If you can't aim, don't bother shooting him. Jeez. You know what? I'm not going to talk military tactics with fucking trolls this feel bad you hit your friend feel bad damn it <laughs> umpers time oh. Oh, no, no. umper has decisions to make <laughs> I also like that umpers wait is umper using the weapon that waffleberg made better yeah, it's uh, Colopia. Cool. This movie looks sick. She is going to waddle over to this way. So she's got choices. Uh, Kuiper, since you are the closest. You'll see her raise up her club, start to swirl it in the air. I need to find the spell again. Oh, Lord. There it is. Thank you. Luckily, it's only in a five foot radius. The troll at the top needs to make a deck save. It fails. As you see, her club just aim and unload a bevy of qu quite literal flurry of snowballs. Oh. It's actually put it's near luck snowball swan. <laughs> Brilliant. Kyper pretty much dodge rolls past it because he's still running to the right. <laughs> he takes ten plus two extra because of Patu spell. Yeah. Then Umpa just looks to you, Alari. Just thumbs up. I'll give her a head pat on the way past. Thumbs up. Seems that Umpa has been training a bit while you were off at the Shadow Isles and has learned some things. <laughs> Speaking of which, Serta. Uh, Fright will um, look back to the target that is free and able to move. Um, this dude bit Fright, right? Yeah, he didn't Whatever bite him, he slapped, slapped him. him twice. Oh, yeah, he slapped him. Um, Fright's going to look at him. 
going to bring a, a sort of hand up his left hand, which has, you know, those like finger guards that always end in claws. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, he's got those on like all of his fingers um, on his left hand as he kind of brings his hand up to the troll, just kind of looking at him. You know, if you're going to slap like that, we're going to need to get a little bit more personal. Uh, and he is going to proceed to try and inject the or, or insert the claws into his flesh as he is doing his version of what would be a vampiric bite. Um, as Fried is going to attempt to use hemomancy, uh, which is just a uh, room terror flavored faint bite for the dampier okay. uh, race. Um, which is just him using his hand instead of his mouth, which is probably for the best in this situation. I don't imagine troll tastes good. Um, He's still making the om nom nom noises. Yes, and this <laughs> it is a uh, is going to be a simple melee weapon attack uh, with my con modifier instead of my strength modifier. Uh, sorry, given uh, given the jokes and all that we've been doing recently because of it, I'm just imagining just uh, so it pulls out the. A comically large, curly, uh, funny straw thing that the killer clowns used to drink out the. <laughs> oh, oh yeah! Just tried to stab him uh, with that. Still can't believe that's getting its own video game. I love <laughs> it. Um, have you heard that? that? Is going. Uh, hmm? go on. Have I heard one? Uh, just. Oh, uh, that's going to be a nineteen. Nineteen hits. Sweet. Um, and then that should be. Uh... That is going to be seven points of piercing damage. Um, as you are going to watch as the blood is going to start to flow up Fright's arm in sort of like streams from the attack. Um, and Fright gains that health back, but also... Uh, Fright gains a bonus equal to the piercing damage um, to my next attack roll. Okay. Uh, so that'll be the plus seven, which, seeing as extra attack is a thing, will be now as Fright is going to proceed to then stab uh, the troll uh, with his blood spear. Um, Does that release this one? No, God, no. Uh, the uh, fire rune still activated on that one. Um, the fire rune is uh, not a thing with oh, the blood yeah, spear. Yeah. It's a thing, yeah. Um, the blood spear, however, that is going to be a... That's going to be an 18 plus 7, which I imagine is far above the AC yeah, to the point yeah. that that's a <laughs> yeah, that, That's a hit. Sweet. Um, now we're going to add the 1d6 from Giant Smite onto this attack. And that is going to be a total of... That's going to be a total of 23 points of damage. Okay, any of it fire? Uh, no, none of it is fire, but Fright is going to pose an interesting uh, conundrum as he looks at the troll. I've observed that you are experts at self-regeneration, which now begs the question... Can you regenerate your bloodstream without eating anything currently? I mean, I couldn't figure out with your friend, but now I've got to figure out with you. So, if I could really ask you during this fight, please live as long as you can with as little blood as you have. That would be excellent. And we'll both observe this uh, conundry together, yes? Looks over at the tracker. Ha, 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 ha.
looks over at the tracker and leaves existence. <laughs> The noise that came out when you said that was so perfect. Looks over the, the tracker. <laughs> you better broke it up there, Santa. Oh, God. Very stinky. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> next up would be the trolls. Since he wasn't affected by fire, he heals. That one wasn't affected by fire, but I believe has not lost health yet. It has not. The other ones have been affected by fire and do not regenerate. But they do get to basically move. Hi. Okay, I'm going to roll another wisdom save for this boy. Oof. Let's see how smart. Let's see if. Yeah. <laughs> this one just keeps eye contact on Alexander. I'm back. I apologize for that. Welcome back. It's all good. Alexander Welcome keeps back. eye contact with, with 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 boy. Backs up, kind of bumps into the porcelain part of the poison lady. Turns around. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be in your way, but clearly you meant to be in mine. Imagine he's so flabbergasted that he actually apologizes. Him. Well, like the other thing is. It's a six foot tall, pasty white woman with black ooze dripping out of her, like cracked skin, with four swords floating above her. Hello, oh, yeah, no, I'm the porcelain lady. It's like the puppet, it's like, oh, 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 oh. No, 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 it's my butt. And then the other one comes up, it's like, why are you not apologizing to the enemy? You got to thump them. <laughs> Plugs inside, sees you just goes. Actually, no, I understand now. <laughs> ah, fuck this. Let's, let's go no. and get rat arsed instead. <laughs> so, let's start, me. let's start things off down here. So, given that they are indeed flanking you, poison lady, they'll be rolling with advantage. So, uh, a 21 for the first yep. one. And let's get this guy's claw attacks out the way as well. A 25. And a 13. 13 is, um... What are we doing? Is a 13 a miss? No, it's like, a, it's my armor class, so... Uh, it's a meet and beat, so you've been hit by all three. Okay. So... Um, constitution saving throws for all three attacks. Yep. Don't touch me. <laughs> oh, uh, that should have been 2d6, so let me just do that again. So, first attack here is 5 damage, then it'd be 14 damage on top. 19 total. And then, 9 more. And yes, indeed, you uh, do need to make 3 conserves. 28. Uh, a 10, an 18, and a 22. I'm assuming the tens are fail and the rest possibly passes. Yes, the other two pass, but the other one, the ten fails. Uh, they take four damage. Okay. Or uh, necrotic damage from just the fact that, like, when they hit her, she yeah. like slimes them at the same time. So. And the one behind. That's a terrible thing to do if someone with a hit you. Uh, well, they're the ones first. making me bleed. You have to think, if they hit me, she loses chunks of porcelain, which just means more black shit comes out. They're literally just beating her up and breaking her. I think it's a spunk all on them. I believe Sorry. that's... 18 that's will be a hit. Like that sometimes. A 17 will be a hit. 14? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so... so that's three. All three hits again. So here we go again. 
Ah, oh, shit, here we go again. Nine damage with the bite. Mm. And 17 damage in total with the claws. And here they go with their concepts. A 13, a 15, and a 23. Uh, so it was 23, 15, and 13. What's this one, sorry? This last three. Uh, th yeah, the last three were concepts, so... So the 13 fails. Okay. So um, how much damage is this one taking? One. <laughs> oh. <laughs> La -da -da. In here with Surtur. A bite for 16. Um, meet and beat, but I'm going to go ahead and actually as a reaction use defensive duelist. So he has to beat a 20 now because that adds four to my AC. Uh, so none of them hit, but you do get an attack of opportunity. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I mean, why not? We're just going to go ahead and use the Blood Spear. Uh, that's going to go ahead and be a 22 to hit. Yep, yeah, that hits. That's just going to be uh, 10 points of damage. Okay. And then last but not least over here. I'm going to do this in a little bit of a different order. Kuiper, it's going to slap you twice. Alrighty. Disadvantage, please. Indeed. So, uh... That's Thank painful to that. see, but it's a disadvantage. That's a miss. That will also most likely be a miss. A 12. Yep. So, after just swiping at you twice with the claws and missing, it's turning its attention the way... Alari, you see this troll just lean down and just open its mouth over Umper. Just tries too hard. It just ends up headbutt in the floor and it's a second headbutt related death. Would you in, believe? In like, I'm going to flick would you, his nose. Would you, would you believe? It missed. It's about to die. <laughs> Umper just sidesteps. Nothing personnel, kid. It's it's about to be dead. The funniest part is, it missed by one. Oh. She doesn't have an AC. <laughs> She's a little baby Yeti. Bob. Which oh my god, if Awful like Bob was here. Hmm? Um, Parsley. Looking a little worse for wear, but she's going to reach up with both of her hands. And starting from the outside going in, she's just going to kind of push all the swords back together um, to just remake the original sword. And she's just going to bring it down on this one's face. Okay, roll me an attack. Oh my god, why? <laughs> you know what, I'll use my bonus action then. Okay. For the bloated curse. Oh, actually, I can't do that. No, that's not a bonus action. It's supposed to be. Oh, yeah, I have it, it written in here wrong, but um, it is I can't action. do it because. Oh, actually, no, I can do this because yeah. I'm not amplifying it. If I amplify it, I have to cast my Hemo die, which means I have to, like, give up health points to, like, do that. <laughs> okay. Um, but I can do it just regular, so I'm just gonna cast it on him. I get some of a little shit. Yep, so he... is pretty much just fat, 
yeah. until he tries to attack, and then he takes damage. So yeah. he gets disadvantage to his strength and dexterity checks, and takes one d8 necrotic damage if they try to make a move or attack. Or yeah, attack during their turn. So Alexander, as you're still giving this one the stink eye, you see it wander outside, slap the poison lady a couple of times. <laughs> Gets splashed with fast. acid and then just kind of swells up like an allergic reaction. Just boom. is it still alive? Yes. <laughs> yes. Then I'm still staring at it. <laughs> He's just giving you the look now. Don't look at me. I've gained weight. <laughs> Kuiper. He brought this on himself. It's um, you. Can small creatures run through large creatures' spaces? I believe... Uh, if the creature is hostile, I believe it, it still implies an attack of opportunity, but if the creature is willing, yes. I yeah, it's a... Uh, they can move through a non-hostile creature space. They can all flavor it anyway because it'd be the same. It'd be the same distance. Yeah, you can move through. Run, a... run through his legs and. Oh yeah. I will. I will listen to an attack of opportunity. Because you can move through a hostile creature space or leave the creatures at least two sizes larger or smaller than you. Wait. Yep. You're a small creature, aren't you? Yep. Then it is two sizes large. It's yep. two sizes yep. bigger because it's large. But yeah, I am moving out of his range regardless. All right. <clears throat> so, with disadvantage still. Oh, that's Oof. it. <laughs> yep. So it's okay. If anything, Kuiper's just being helped along his travels, being launched even further. I was going to say, can I flavor this as he's just getting pulled through this door? He just breaks through it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Wait, I, 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 the trope's just, like, the, the just full push, right, and fucking kicks him. <laughs> it's, it's just, just him. <laughs> it's just kind of slides between the legs, rushing for the door. And you hear the pit patter of feet coming as if they try to help you, sir, sir. Or is it here like a poof, oh she? And then just Kuiper gets launched through the door. Uh, take 11 damage, by the way, Kuiper. <laughs> Serta um, looks away from his looks over at Kuiper <laughs> fucking amateurs he just lands hard lands backwards sends a firebolt back through the door <laughs> wait I need to make a con save to see if uh, spell's still up nice yep. so yep firebolt goes firebolt. off <laughs> yep so through the Kuiper shaped hole in the door. Uh, oh god. That is... Oh, a firebolt, sorry, yeah. Uh, yep. oof. 19. Also, what were you dread say, Dio? I just said firebolt goes we. Yep. Are you, are you okay, my pale ferret friend? <laughs> he doesn't respond, but sends two meteors past you. Right in the middle of these two. <laughs> okay. Mm, so, just like my mother. Normal troll fails. Tied up troll makes this with disadvantage. And fails. And number two. My last one. Not good damage, but I'll take it. So they need to make it again? Yes, please. Uh, fails, and with disadvantage, fails. So, let's <coughs> add this together. Nine. Nineteen in total to each. And given that this is fiery, she was already affected. Not the entrance I wanted to make. Yeah, I'm fine. You know That's what, though? No, you stuck the landing and you made something that was eh, not okay. Okay. Pat yourself on the back, my little friend. Whew. 
Yeah. Uh, maybe get a, a card to look at your back. Um... Uh, Mariah. The one that you shot the toes off is now dead. Yeah. <laughs> I, um... There's a, there's a, the ones you can see at the moment are a really fat bloated target out here, and one quite literally tried to eat Umper. I think I'm going to go for the one that's trying to eat Umper, because that's a pretty serious situation. Oh yeah, no, you, you could quite literally feel the warmth to your left as Alaria is just watching this and just... She's not a barbarian, but you feel like if she was, she'd be raging right around now. Hey, I can give myself rage. God, I mean, what what would it be like having an ice spawn that could enrage at any given point? I the, have the, the, the funny... <coughs> fury. I can give myself rage. The the funny thing is, because it's a lorry, and because of the color of Alari's flames, we can now compare this to Hades from uh, Hercules when Hades <laughs> gets mad at the blue so... flames. The second shot I mean, flies over it, but only because the first shot quite literally nails it in the forehead. Sending it is just like reeling back a bit. Alari is on fire still. Speaking of which, it's also going to take the extra two damage because of that uh, two spell. Yeah, it's it's rough. Good. Like the mantle of flame is still going. Like yeah. Speaking of which, it is you. Cool. Um, yeah. Alara is immediately running. Who here? And I am going to smack the boy. Smack off the boy. Slap. That's a miss. I would almost just hug him. Okay. Full <laughs> uh... of flame. I mean, <laughs> bonus action, body like, check. Yeah. <laughs> Better yet, because she has Oompa, we can call it This is Mama's House. Uh, okay. Uh, as a bonus action, using two of my sorcery points for quick and spell. Um, I am going to. I am going to cast inflict wounds on him. Okay. Uh, so I need to do a melee spell attack. Nice. Oh. Add two, you get twenty-four. No. That's a miss, unfortunately. Yeah, sadly. I've been forgetting to add my fire damage to Man's at Soul Flame damage to any attacks I've been doing. Yep. But, you know. but you know, yeah. yeah uh, okay. That's me. I can't do anything else. But two. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose I could get a bit closer. <laughs> I've just been standing at the edge of the map just beating people from a distance <laughs> and can I attempt to Amatola blade this guy uh, is he in range uh, let me just click the thing so the stupid information pops up. Uh... There's the information. 25 feet. Uh, yes, he is in range. 
That is a tw- <laughs> 23 to hit. <laughs> yeah, for seven damage. Uh, just remind me again, how long does the thing last? The thing, uh, one minute, so ten rounds. Has it been ten rounds? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. The seven damage wouldn't have killed it. But with that extra two damage triggering from that. Yeah. Oh, is that also including taser, or do I have to literally just roll a 20 flat? No, he's just dead. Ah, he did, did. The seven damage plus the two from the <laughs> effect of your other spell. That was enough. Marvelous. Now we're just... Did we ever have a uh, movement range for Debbie? I forget. 30 foot, I believe. Or oh, 35. 35. Cool. We're going to move Devi through the wall right here. Just yep. to observe what's going on in there. You see a Kuiper on his ass. <laughs> Point, pointing his fingers <laughs> as fire goes off. <laughs> Marvelous. And that's my turn. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Alexander. Yep, yeah, I, I saw the arrow. I knew where you were going instantly with that. <laughs> Alexander's going to punish. Alexander's going to pop the fat. <laughs> Time yeah, for Betty them. Crocker's weight loss. Wait! I'm actually not flanking for once, so I'm just going to run in and... Fucking slay. Jesus, Good I'm off on Lord. this one. What <laughs> the jeez? Jack, just just log off for today and go to Vegas. <laughs> Should be using Patu's dice roller. I can't, I, can't even, I, can't, I can't even see what the roll was, so I'm assuming it was pretty good. Not 26. Another not uh, 20. Well... Do I end um, the poison lady's um, inflation point nightmare? Um, uh, no. No, it's still alive. It never ends. <laughs> it never ends. They just stay fat <laughs> even after death. Yeah, there's never the end. There's never the end. There's never the end. Uh, yeah, the it is still. Oh, and no. that is a miss. To be fair, I've had flanking most of this entire fight. It is fair that finally one should miss. Yeah. And is that you? Yeah, that's me. Okay. We get back to the tied up troll. Oh my. The tied up troll gets to take the 2d6 damage! Yep. And then tries to that break outs after it shoots. Those rolls are showing up. Why aren't my other rolls showing up? Why are your guys' rolls not showing up? Okay, anyway, seven points of fire damage will fix this Oof. quietly. <laughs> She's just going to laugh a bit. Aim the staff. And you will see it. Uh, I, I would need to measure from the square. It will only hit Kuiper, so Kuiper, make me deck save with advantage. With advantage? Because she's still tied up, she... it With advantage, makes up for having to make with this at Jesus. <laughs> Kuiper doesn't this succeed isn't... deck saves. <laughs> this isn't a fright perception, this is a Santa perception. Oh. Does this weapon have a maker's mark? It does not. Okay, I was gonna say it's audience, so there's like a it's like a percentile chance of it being Waffleberg technology and just utterly fucking failing. Take Which is actually damage, scary. Sorry, yeah, twenty-one damage. 
21 damage. Yeah, this this thing's 20 of damage. That's kind of awesome. This thing's powerful. But here's the thing. She didn't aim it at you. <laughs> you see this Ow. wall start to crumble and the building itself start to shake. Oh god. You feel like she's trying to, to bring the building down on you all. We can complain about her aim so much that she's just aiming for something she would struggle to miss. Frank, we'll take this moment. Look over at her. I have to admit, when someone's clever, someone's clever. Here's the thing, though. Now I roll the 1d100. For the damage. <laughs> If this rolls a 1, this building's staying nice and firm up. If this rolls a 100, this building's collapsing here and now. This is just to see the integrity okay. of this building. Let's go. It's All surprisingly right. holding up. It's still going to be coming down, but it's not immediately coming down. You've got a couple of turns to evacuate, if you notice it. And she's going to try and break out. Nope. Uh, strength throw, was it, to try and break out? Yes, it is a strength throw. 23. 23. Uh, so what What was that? What What was the weapon she used? It, it's her staff. It's a Zornite-looking staff. That what seems flavor of magic was it? It seems to be firing cold blasts. Oh, Just uh, make me an investigation check, just quickly. Uh, you That's earned um, you fright, and I'm going to give Petua as well, given Devi. But this would be this information would be relayed straight to you, Petua. This be Devi's thingy to relay to you, given you're not looking through Devi's eyes. All right. Uh, you said which one? Uh, investigation. Okay. Uh, Fright, there seems to be some kind of clear stone, clear blue stone, just wedged in the top of the staff, just kind of housed in a metallic grasp. Kuiper and Patu, you know this to be a chunk of true ice that's basically channeling these energies. Mm. Does that have any significance to Lysandra, or is it just something that Lysandra we know uses? Uh, given that you actually got the higher one, you've seen Trice before, Kuiper, from the party. Uh, this looks different. This looks darker. Kind of tainted, you'd say. It's a sussy ice cube. You've seen similar energies. From the uh, from the frost guards, the army that she has. Oh. Anyway, that is her turn done. Now that she is freed. Actually, no. Now that she is freed, and now that she's no, she's bringing the building down. She's legging it. <laughs> just like a just hobbles as she just makes a getaway it is Umpa's turn Umpa makes perception <laughs> Umpa waddles over tugs at your pant leg Larry. At least I'm assuming Galari's wearing pants. Yeah. Tugs at your pants like. And points to the crumbling wall. Ah, yes. Quite right. 
<laughs> it's just like the desperate frantic. What's up? Could travel could, could travel faster on shoulders than myself. Yeah, can, <laughs> she will pick. She'll pick her up when she can. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it is your turn, fright. Yes, uh, fright. Watching this, uh, watching the tracker start running, is going to look at the troll in front of him. Well, what shape is the troll in front of him currently? A little bit roughed up, but not too bad. Mm. Your commanding officer is making a run for it. Do you want to do the same? No, she reports it back to boss. I stay no, and fight like a warrior. Ah, yes. I like that. Uh, <laughs> Kuiper. Oh my god. No. Sorry, this is Santa, not Fright, but I don't like saying his real name. Ah, uh, Fright, he's going to look back. Kuiper, do you think you could take her out of the equation before she gets too far, or did that attack uh, knock some sense into your magic casting ass? It's like, uh, I can try. Okay, in that case, uh, Fright's going to yell back even further. If one of you assholes, um, probably not Alexander, I imagine he's punching another one. Uh, the bitch in charge is making a run for it uh, to the north northeast. If you could be ever so sweet and gun her ass down. You can't catch me, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Now, with that out of uh, the equation, um, it appears that we are short on time, so I apologize, my friend. I really don't like doing it this way. Uh, Fright is fully taking his glasses off at this point. Um, and you're going to see, for the first time, you're going to really get a good look at Fright's eyes and the fact that the pupils have... Um, tattooed around them in the iris runes um, as Fright is activating his storm rune. Um, he is invoking this rune as a bonus action, which allows him to enter a prophetic state um, until this state ends when myself or another creature I can see within 60 feet of me makes an attack roll, a saving throw, and a ability check. I can use my reaction um, to cause the roll to have advantage or disadvantage. Um, this lasts for about a minute. Um, and Fright is going to go ahead and stab the troll in front of him again. Okay. Um, as Fright is going to once more stab him with the spear for a 19 to hit. Yep. Wonderful. We're also going to go ahead and use uh, the extra damage from Giant Smite on this attack. Uh, and that is going to be a... That's going to be 17 points of piercing damage. 17. Oof. Um, and then we are going to go ahead and use extra attack. Um, to attack again, which is going to be a 18 to hit. That hits. Alrighty. And that is going to be, that's going to be 20 points of piercing damage. Set pass two. Uh, yeah, that, that'll do it. Just kind of shank him a couple of times with a spear. The second one you feel punch out the back end of him. As this happens, it should be noted uh, if, if he has died then his blood will start to kind of flow along the spear and actually into the spear um, and into Fright's hand as he kind of He's going to lean down to roll the towards the troll. You fought only, my friend. 
die knowing that. It was an excellent battle. You felt honorably and he saws himself halfway through your conversation. You felt honorably. And you've ruined uh, it. You've ruined it. Yeah. You've ruined it. <laughs> you've ruined it. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Um. <laughs> um. Fright's gonna look out the door. Can he see uh, the bitch made for it still? Yeah. You are slowly losing sight of it though because it is still quite a big bit of a blizzard out there. Oh, it's perfectly fine. Um, Fright is just going to sit uh, down on the corpse as he looks after. We're coming for you! As he just calls out into the snow. That's the end of his turn. Okay. Next up, it would be... The two trolls' turns. Has he been injured? Yes, he has, but he'll heal up that one pip of damage he took. Oh, no, wait. Uh... The splashback from Poison Lady's thing, it's acid, if I recall right, yes? It's, ne it's necrotic. Oh, necrotic, yeah, then he still heals yeah. it back. So, the only one that doesn't is the one that's on fire. Yep. And the one that's on fire, Mr. Fatty Bloat Boy, turns to the person that he's still just de giving him the death glare as he smashes into him. He's just... Oh, I don't understand. I guess we're doing this then. Eh. 19. Alexander? Microphone's off the course of this. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 19. Yep. So, that is just the bite. Only five damage as he goes to bite you. Yeah, that's getting no sold. <laughs> For minimum damage, that's getting no sold. Yep. 16 with the first close wipe, and I know he'll be taking damage from that as well. Yep. 8 damage. Okay, he's beginning to look a little more irritated. No, the 8 damage is to the troll. Oh. Yeah. Anytime the troll makes another, so if he decides that he's going to attack again, that's another 1d8 damage. The more times he attacks per turn, okay. she, she that's the it's so it's the it's a blood curse. It's the curse of bloated agony. It's thirteen damage with the swipe though. Still, um, uh... roll the d8 yep. again. Ah, oh, god damn it! I was hoping for another dead eight and another eight damage to you, Alexander. As it swipes you again, we it seems to not be getting too much purchase with its claws, given the fatty puffy fingers now. That it's got. But it's Someone trying its best. Someone's got a few new claw marks to uh, show that he's trying, I suppose. Um... Yep. So I can get rid of that mark now, as he's not been affected by fire yet. However, the one that is on the other end, given he is still flanking, he is going to unleash everything on the poison lady. A 25? a 17 and an 18. How much damage is it to be declared dead again? Uh, uh, good question. To straight up die, you have to uh, reach your full hit points and negatives. Or... Three deaths, saving throw fails. Oh, okay. cool beans. Okay, then we're, so, we should be all set, hopefully. 23, 29, 32 damage in total. Alrighty. Well, she's down with negative 31 health. <laughs> 
I didn't have anything left. I have stolen. He takes one damage. I have <laughs> stolen my own life twice now. <laughs> like, and both times it's been like maxed out on my Hemocraft die, so I literally gave up 12 hit points. He just kind of <laughs> waltzes away and then just looks at Alexander. Are you picking on my mate while he's suffering from the pudge? <laughs> just slowly changes direction of head. That's it's... not very nice, that. Should be noted, though, that she did not collapse to the ground <laughs> when she went into death saving phase. She kind of just became a head hanging statue. <laughs> Speaking of which, can that head hanging statue please make me a death sip? E20. But you. That is a pass. A. One. Caper. Make me a perception check. Yep. Percept, 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 percept. Yeah, you've noticed the wall. You've noticed it slowly crumbling and the sh building kind of shaking. It's fine, he is under the target anyways. <laughs> Just gonna r run outside. Yep. Literally frost-coated. Uh, how far away she managed to get in one turn? Her full movements plus... Yeah, her full movement because she, she attacked, so 30. Ah, there she is. It would be straight on, but I've had to keep her there because it's in the range of some of you people, so I can still keep track of her health. Lovely. But for all sakes purposes, she's that way off the map. Coolio. Um, this is probably going to be a very spite-fueled fireball, but it is going to be a fireball. <laughs> okay. And he's throwing everything into this one. This will be fireball plus alchemical cast. Seventeen. There's a pass. Uh, let's so give that. Let's give of... saving throw disadvantage actually with my <laughs> uh, prophetic storm room because she's still within thirty feet of fright. Oh my! Alrighty, where's the actual damage? Fire. This is going to be at level four as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, just, just to justify this fight is going to be like aim a little bit oh to my. the left. Just gonna weave and dodge. Got you. <laughs> so 36, 49 damage in total. That would be. Yep. Do you know the funniest part? God. Even if she passed, that would be a kill. <laughs> she had 12 HP remaining. He just That's blew her off the face of the earth. That is the spitiest of fireballs. <laughs> However, I, I do now need to ask something. No, I'm going to do it this way instead, actually. Let's see what happens to the staff. Ooh. So as the fireball hits and you see her smoldering just fall to her knees, you see the staff start to spark. Oh dear. And then <laughs> 30 foot away from you, in a 15 foot diameter around her, a giant black ice structure just forms almost instantly, freezing her corpse in place. It's basically the staff went haywire and blew up. Oh. Uh, well, I suppose it's a good thing that she went all the way out there. It should be noted. I just, the ice. I just imagine like uh, the the staff, like a voice on the staff, is ju just like uh, warning: being incinerated uh, disavows this uh, property's warranty. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Zonian bullshit. Uh, it should be noted, by the way. That the ice that she that they are trapped in is also of the black tainted variety. Oh. 
Was that a bit planned or was that an accident? Okay. Oh, oh he's okay. <laughs> that kind of peckish. Is anyone else peckish? So, uh, that's me. Okay. I'm going to say this just for shits and giggles. Kits and shiggles. That's a, yes, that staff did actually have a name on it. The staff had inscribed on it the name of the creator, Smeech. <laughs> but S doesn't stand for Smeech. <laughs> it does in this case. Uh... Yay for Kim Baron bullshit. Yep. <laughs> so, that is Kaipu then. Mariah, make me a perception check. Okay. You notice the walls crumbling and the building looking like it's about to come down. Okay, so I need to run. Or at least get out of the building, yeah. What's my speed? 30, if I recall. Oh, it's fucking 25. What the hell? Oh, 25. <laughs> <laughs> my hey. legs are short, okay? Fair. Remember, the wall is already collapsed here. What? Ping it again, I didn't see. Here, yes, you can escape out this way. way. <laughs> Do I? Can I run out from here? Yeah. yeah. Kind of, yeah. Do we assume that the ceiling's just not in this area? Uh, I I do apologize. A bit of a emergency has popped up, and I do need to make a rush for it. That's okay. Um, no problem. Okay. Fred's next turn is him getting out of the building and pulling blood from the dead troll because he's backish. Okay. <laughs> So Mariah makes it out. Alari, you already know because Umpa has informed you. <laughs> Alari? Awawi. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Yeah. Um, obviously, we'd try to get out as quick as possible with Umpa. Yep. So taking the same route as Mariah, just to the left? Yeah. Okay. You right there, or you're flagging? Flagging. Oof. To be fair, we won't be going on that much longer. Patu? Mm -hmm. You're pretty much already out. Ooh. So, first, I'd like to move Debbie about can I keep him in the wall considering his uh, properties? Yes, but he, he won't be able to see anything while he's in the wall. Okay. I'll bring him out right about here -ish then. Okay. And uh, answering my question, there is no ceiling right here, yes? Where two and everybody's standing? Pretty much no ceiling, yeah. Um... I'd like to take the two and move him generally down this way. Move Preferably fly. Down which way, sorry? <laughs> uh, down this way. Okay. So Because he did notice that Alexander's at the door right there. <laughs> yep. So you can move your token, can't you? Yeah. Okay. How far is it again? If I'm flying... That right there should be okay, yeah? Yeah. Then we get to Alexander. Who said I was done? Oh, never mind. We get back to the two. Hi there, it's not Alexander. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Just because I can, we are going to cast another Victor's Soul Rend, this asshole right here. Okay.
That is a natural 20. Okay. Oh, uh, the bloody boy. Uh, oh, it's not bloody boy. It's the more powerful. Uh, it's the guy who's not pissing his pants. <laughs> yeah. Mm, that is eight damage. Okay. Given that it was a natural 20, does that double because of that, or...? Yes. So 16. Gotcha. Mark him. Yep. And marked. Now it's Alexander. <laughs> well, uh, hello, I'm back, sorry. Welcome back. Well, let us begin the direct plotting in 97. Um, let us not begin hey! the direct in 97. <laughs> oh, no. It'd be a shame if someone was to lucky that oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. be a shame well, if someone counted your lucky. Shut. Take take my shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Everything you stand for. Fuck you, bitch chat motherfucker. In fa- how how was this fucker lucky when I stabbed him? Huh? Uh, fat boy. Fat boy slim. Yeah. He's looking pretty rough. So when I stabbed him, he was looking pretty rough. Uh, he, when you stabbed him? Uh, well, uh, before you stabbed him, he was looking pretty rough. After you've stabbed him, he looks like a pop balloon. Is that it? Does he go to the the bone zone? He does not, unfortunately, because he was not affected by fire. I would like to say that I also uh, opted out of taking the one thing that I could do for fire. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> well, oh, one tiny detail. I'm gonna smite him. Smite the one that's on the ground already. The the one I just stabbed. Yes. Yep. <laughs> the smite do fire damage. No. In that case, it's not doing anything else to him. Uh, okay. Cool. I love invulnerable enemies. They're my favorite thing. Um, it's the thing with trolls. They only die if they start to turn with zero hit points and can't regenerate. They can't regenerate if they take fire or acid damage in the turn. Did I stutter? Yes. <laughs> okay, let me say hi then. Fucking invincible enemies. <laughs> I mean, if you right. want to. So is that um, cool, as a bonus action, I'm gonna, I don't know, fucking decapitate it. I don't know. Why wouldn't I try that? <laughs> Fair. I'd also say make me a quick intelligence check if you wanted to, but... You're just constantly decapitating this thing and a new head keeps popping out every turn, like... No, it just keeps... It, the head just Stop keeps it. rolling back onto itself, it's just... <laughs> you know, I, I'm just gonna give this one to you, because, uh... Alexander's not a dumb person. Generally. Sometimes. Actually a flat 10. He's an average intelligent. You've seen these things die when fire's been applied to them. You've got torches. Uh, I don't know. (laughs) You could quite literally just reduce them to zero and toss a torch onto their ass. (laughs) Cheers. Ah, toasty. Fair enough. Um, the, the, the DM has given me torches. We're going to drop a torch on it. <laughs> you should have torches anyway from your pack. Yeah, like I get that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, okay. Um, I'm dropping a torch on them. Yep, that'll kill it. Um, the, the flashlight bonks it on the head. Uh, it dies from sheer embarrassment because it was the wrong torch. But uh, and and then this one was like, "Oi, you're stabbing me, mate, dickhead!" And I'm just gonna step out onto. Okay, I guess I'm underneath it now. But uh, <laughs> just steps out 
just just over the troll and just turns. I don't care that it's on fire. I'm here for intimidation, all right? <laughs> Fair. Uh, dead. Umpa's in uh, Alari's arms. Surtur is moving out and feeding on troll. Surtur is still large, by the way. It should be noted. <laughs> Jeez. Troll's turn. Uh... Let's see if this boy is as dumb as a box of rocks. Mm -hmm. He is as dumb as a box of rocks and he's going to keep on trying to slap Alexander. <laughs> he didn't notice getting smacked in the face. <laughs> By Nineteen. Nineteen, Alexander? Yeah. Uh, six damage. Yeah, that, that, that's another one that's just not getting sold. Uh, a 22 yeah. for one close wipe and the 11 will miss, so... 10. So I search, but bite, you no sell. And then he just gives you, like, one of the chops across the chest that you see in wrestling. Oh, yeah. Poison lady. Death save. Wait, when the fuck did that happen? Ah! <laughs> That's another pass. One more pass and you are fine. Kaper, you're outside the building now. You've created, by accident, a giant eye structure. Yep. Still hearing that Conlot's still going on. He gets to his senses and just begins to as fast as he can, which isn't very fast. <laughs> just gets up to your oh, and it's just, Alexander, hurry up and finish the... <laughs> I will. I'll use a dash. Okay. Oh, that's really frustrating. Hold up. Might be able to make it. I'm holding. If I'm allowed to be so damn cheeky. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see this cheeky shit. That, 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 that. Perfect. Okay. Yeah? Just sees Porcelain Lady down and... I'm gonna... Wait, is that bonus action? I didn't check that back. Wait, you... Yes, it's a bonus action. Dope. Um, going to use Healing Light that he went from Diana for some reason. Okay. And uses. Can I use two of these? No, I can only use one at once because my charisma is negative. Jesus. Um, I will heal for six HP. Poison lady. Mm -hmm. So here's an interesting thing now. Given mm. that your character technically already had died at one point. Which is an aspect of death, yes. As you, a bit of a thing going on here, don't you? As you go down and everything fades, no one is waiting for you on the other end at first. And you feel your body a lot less gooey, I suppose is the term. Oh a lot more God. solid. Finally. Solid. And then you oh hear... God. The fluttering of wings. God damn it. As a large purple vulture like being flies overhead and starts to circle. What? What? Can I help you? Yes, I do believe you can. And what would I be able to do for you? Satiate my hunger. Oh. And as and... it tries to swoop down to snatch you up, 
you come back to. Damn it. Her head just like slowly lifts up. Mm. Well, off we go then. Back to the world of the living. And she just like turns around away from Kuiper, staring at the other thing. God damn it, it's still alive. <laughs> Wake up, we're not done yet. <laughs> Wake up, we've got a city to burn somewhere. <laughs> oh god, apparently that got... DLC got announced for that game. Oh, oh me. Uh, Mariah. Are you staying where you are, or are you heading towards where you hear your combat? Um... I'll head towards... Why not? Okay. Dash it? Yeah. How far can I go if I dash? Is it... It'd be 50 in total, so it'd get you roughly there-ish. Alright. Cool. It does yeah. mean that, unfortunately, you can't shoot this turn, but... Yeah. At least you're there. Just Ready. In case. in case you're still alive. Indeed. Also, if it allows this to be uploaded, it has. Just for quick clarification's sake, this is what you saw, uh, Poison Lady. That's pretty dope. I believe I know what that is. I just have to like look through things again. Um, because she does know of Kindred and is actually not very fond of kindred mainly for the aspect of that there's two of them oh, and this... neither of them can agree how to kill somebody <laughs> this wasn't kindred <laughs> oh i know this is the thing that eats and kills aspects of death that are forgotten uh alari are you stopping the way you are yeah are you Okay. Praise be to if you, if you need to hop out early just to get some rest, don't worry too much. We'll be ending soon. Mm -hmm. Not really tiredness. It's more just weight in my chest. And I even talked to the doctor and they're like, no, it's just panic attacks. And I'm like, ah. That's not a panic attack. Take it from someone who said that before. That Are you coughing up a lot of stuff off your chest as well at the same time? No. Okay. Not coughing at all. Because I was going to say, if stuff's coming up as well, that's bronchitis. If it's not coming up... I have been told before, when I've gone and I've been feeling that kind of thing, they have told me it's been a panic attack as well. Yeah. That's pretty much what he said. It's like, oh, you're just having panic attacks. And I'm like, they don't feel like the normal type of panic attack. Yeah. Before I ramble on more. Good night, uh, everyone. Good night. Good night. Bye. It is your turn, Pitu. <clears throat> Marvelous. Oh, thanks to Mariah popping in right there. Uh, I'm going to take flight. I want to be about here-ish. I thought you were going to say thanks to Mariah popping up there. I'm going to swoop down, pick up Mariah. She's now my turret. Oh no, there was a thing that I was going to do because I wanted to see how you would describe this particular spell. I haven't used before yet. Okay. I have to be at least 15 feet. <coughs> or was it about right here? I would like to try and use this one. Okay. Also, while well, you're just loading up that spell as well. Oh, never mind. It does load up, but my thing just keeps having issues of not loading these things up. Flowing a dead wrath. Make a wisdom save. Within all creatures within 15 foot. Uh, let me just check. Good. Good. Yeah, I was doing like map. <laughs> Mapping while I was waiting. Uh, wisdom is a minus one. 
17. That is a pass. Huh. Does it say, on a successful save, it takes half damage. Why have the outcome of the save if you're all creatures except yourself are left drenched in blood? Okay. All right. So, um, for shits and giggles, I feel like it should be psychic damage. Okay. And it'll be one d four. Is it not? It's two d four for the damage, but it'll be taking half of whatever you roll. Okay. And taking one d four of the chosen damage until it moves. Thingy so. That is seven, so half of seven. Rounded up is four. Eight. And roll another 1d4 because it also takes an extra damage. And I believe it takes extra damage until it moves 30 foot away from you. So that's eight damage total so far. It has to get 30 feet away from me. If it wants to stop the uh, problem it currently has. Yep. It's not happy. It's also more likely not going to be alive anymore because it's Alexander's turn. Yep. <laughs> you know how this has been going with right. Alexander today. Let's see the nat 20. Well, so, Don't jinx them. Um, at the DM, I'm allowed to jinx my players. I don't believe in jinxes, but uh, shut. I mean, that's pretty <laughs> sex. Yeah, that's still good. That's 18 damage. How was it looking? Uh, still quite good, actually. How was it looking before I started? Even better. Now it's just covered right, in blood. Getting, getting the smite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, I should ask beforehand, but I've got fast, fast, the, the thing that do thing fast. I, I sure do, right. I think. Anyway. I think that's the formula. So while you're just looking yeah. that up, I've just seen the greatest thing. Have your smite damage more. Yes, quicker. that that's a, oof, that's a spice. It's still kind of fine, though. It's rougher than it was, but uh, let me see what the max HP is. Middle ground, I'd say. Uh, that was before this. I go for smile. Yeah, you know what? Very ready to see it fall. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it, it, it looks like it's on its last legs now. So bonus action can just lob a torch at it. <laughs> I'm actually curious now to see how much damage does a torch do? It it would theoretically be uh, a, 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 just like any other uh, improvised attack. So. Yeah, it just deals one fire damage if you rally attack with a burning torch and hit. Well. Yeah, what 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 one one damage plus plus two for strength? Maybe. I don't know. Um, <laughs> you just crit with it. It's like there we go, double it. <laughs> well, seeing as theoretically speaking, uh, th this is an unarmed attack. No. Um, Do not bite the torch. That's uh, <laughs> no, unfortunately. Uh, dead. I'm staying with. Alari, so it's feeding. Troll's turn. Wait. I just realized something. This troll's dead. And where's the bonus action? You could just flick the torch onto it. Do you know why? The thing that Patoon marked it with would have done an extra oh, two yeah. damage each time you hit it. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's dead. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it's dead. You. Bonus actually just flick the torch onto it from its mates. It's just, eh, there. And with all the trolls taken care of, and an odd, ominous chill flowing through the earth that only Kaipa knows the source of. 
we are going to end it there for this week. I, I, I always seem to end up ha with fight sessions that last the entire session. <laughs> there's, there's yeah. a very, you you have, a, have a very big party late, and they're all got incredibly varied attack patterns and abilities. That it, is. It's just how it's always going to go. That is fair. Also, before and I... we also like to over-aggressively describe what we're doing and talk for our entire action, right? It's just how it's going to go. Hell yeah. So before I sign us off for today... I feel like I'm being called out. I need to point out... <laughs> I need to point out this advert I got on Facebook for a new type of donut by Krispy Kreme. They're doing a collaboration with Jaffa Cakes. Ooh. It's just like a normal donut with like chocolate on the top, but with like the Jaffa stuff in the middle. And I kind of want to try them because they look awesome, but they have the best name. They're called <laughs> Jaffa Nuts. <laughs> oh, chill. Um... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, but if that doesn't end up getting memed, somebody missed out on something. <laughs> I, I'm not even joking. I need to grab a screenshot of that. Makes it all the more worse. Uh, yes. I used to know somebody <laughs> called Jaffa. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. Right, let me just throw that in voice chat. As for everyone watching go on YouTube, we'll see you all next time on the Dark Tides of Rune Terror when we continue this fairly Freljordian adventure. Yay, Freljordian adventure. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> next time on the next time on the Dark Tides of Rune Terror, Mariah gets a job. Nah, Mariah already has a job. She's a doctor. <laughs> yeah, I'm becoming a doctor. You have to also now work part time in the uh, Zones Bar. Yeah. <laughs> I need to check the expiry date so then I'm not giving people po food poisoning. <laughs>